Don Miller was born on March 26, 1998, in Dallas, Texas. Born to Von and Gloria Miller, who raised him in the Dallas suburb of DeSoto. As most football fans know, football only comes second to God in Texas. So of course that's what a young Von Miller wanted to do. Being born with asthma, Von's father didn't want him to play football. But after constant nagging to his mother, she agreed. And so the legend began. It started out because he had asthma and I always had to be there in case he had an asthma attack or something like that. She had Suburban with the converter that hooked up to the generator onto the extension cord all the way through <laughs> the stands down to the sideline and hooked my nebulizer up to that. So I was just on the sideline with my mask on whenever I so, had an asthma attack. So I was just always there and we just kind of got used to it. I didn't want to miss anything. I've always just been there. Well, they had asked the year before. That was fifth grade. Mm -hmm. They had asked and his dad said no. He didn't want him to play until they were in ninth grade. And he was like, Mama, want to play, want to play? No, your dad said no. Mama, please, please. No, Mama. <sighs> okay. So we go up there and I sign him up. And I told him on the way home, I said, well, just leave your pads in the car. We had played the whole season, my dad didn't know. He came, he was thinking he was going to clean the truck out. He bagged it out, opened up the back doors, and the pads fell out. He came in there and asked me, OK, what is this? You know they've been playing football all year, and they made it to the championship, and we're going next weekend. And I just walked off. <laughs> so I'm like. That's my first time hearing that story. That was my first time. I guess he was just kind of, you know, relieved. OK, let's go ahead and play. And ever since the fifth grade, we have been, we have been playing football. It wasn't until high school that Von excelled. He went to DeSoto High School where Miller played football and ran track for the Eagles. In his junior year, he recorded 37 tackles, 14 for loss, and seven sacks, adding nine quarterback hurries. And as a senior, he was named District 8 5A Defensive MVP after making 76 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, and six sacks. Considered a four-star recruit by Rivals.com, Miller was listed as the number 15 weak side defensive end in the nation in 2007. Miller would choose Texas A&M over offers from Florida, Ole Miss, Oklahoma, and Texas Tech. Vaughn played for the Aggies from 2007 to 2010. As long as they don't, uh, they, they don't let Nebraska get a quick score. Clock working as they throw here, and it's a there's a loose ball fumble. out there. I think he that was Von Hill that hit him. Von Miller, I mean Von Hiller. I think Red Bryant got it. As a freshman playing defensive end, he was named freshman All Big 12 by the Sporting News after posting 22 tackles, including 10 solo stops. He recorded two sacks, four tackles for loss, and a forced fumble. Who's got the ball? The Aggies say, and they've got it, and now the referee, Greg Burks, says it indeed it is AM's ball, and Von Miller. They didn't bring any any extra rush that time. Just the four man they get to Arnon, not only did they get to him, but they're able to strip the ball and they'll have possession at the 48 yard line. In spring of 2008, newly hired head coach Mike Sherman was discouraged by Miller's habits of skipping class and failing to produce during practice. Sherman decided to suspend Miller for the spring. 
Disappointed, Miller considered transferring, but upon his father's insistence, he stayed. You remember that sophomore year at a &M? Yes, sir. How could I forget? It was this close from leaving it. If, uh, if it wasn't for you, I'd, I'd be somewhere else right now. I, I think about that and, and that phone call I got. But what you didn't know is before you called me, I'd already talked to Coach Sherman. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. As always, I've always had communication with those guys, and they know to contact me anytime there's a situation. Why did you Why did you decide to load up your truck and, and leave? Because, I, I mean, it was, uh, in my eyes, it wasn't really, you know, too much left. I mean, that's what players do. You know, you go find a situation that, that uh, where the odds are, are better for you. I needed the... Uh, I need the foresight to see that it was best for me to stay at Texas a &M. You know, that would have uh, been a huge mistake for me to go to the left. It's probably one of the greatest decisions I ever made. There's, there's always pluses and minuses to everything you do in life. And you have more pluses there than you have minuses. Mm -hmm. Just think about leaving and having to start all over again. See, I had the opportunity to think about all that while you were driving home. That's why you got the phone call, stop, pull over, gather yourself, and, and turn around. Do you ever regret turning around? Nope. Look where we at right now. Miller then adapted a more serious attitude. As a sophomore in 2008, he played in all 12 games, making 44 tackles, including 24 solo stops, and leading the team with three and a half sacks. He made seven and a half tackles for loss, forced two fumbles, and recovered two more. In Kine's defense, Von's role was more of a pass coverage as opposed to rushing the quarterback, thus not able to showcase his pass rushing abilities. Until Vaughn's 2009 breakout season for the Aggies, when he led the nation with 17 sacks and ranking fourth in the nation with 21 tackles for loss. That not only leads the Big 12, that's the entire country. Go to Dynamite from the point. Protection breaking down. The outside, he's at the top of your screen, left of your screen, it stops, comes back underneath. A different move you Lutowski hadn't seen. But that's Joe Kahn's what he said. That's his favorite pass rush, rush move. It's not palpable. It's just you just see it. Blitz. McCoy. Hit as he throws. And it comes out wobbly as Von Miller leveled him. Von Miller's efforts earned him first team all Big 12 at defensive end and was named a first team All-American by Sporting News and Sports Illustrated. He became the first Aggie to be named a first team All-American since Jason Webster in 1999. As a senior, Miller suffered a high ankle sprain that held him back for the first six games. He still posted 10 and a half sacks and 17 tackles for loss. For the second time, he made first team all Big 12 honors, also winning the highly coveted Dick Buckus Award for the nation's top linebacker. Von Miller entered the 2011 NFL Draft regarded as one of the best 3-4 outside linebackers available by NFL Draft experts and was projected to be a top five overall pick. Among linebackers of the 2011 Combine, Miller ranked second in the 40-yard dash, third in the vertical jump, first in the broad jump, third in the 20-yard shuttle, and first in the 60-yard shuttle. His 11.15-second 60-yard shuttle broke the Combine linebacker record. Earlier this week, Josina sat down with Miller for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview where he touched on many subjects regarding fellow players that he enjoys watching, the labor situation, he's made a lot of noise on that front, his confidence, and even what his hobbies are. Here's part one of her two-part sit-down. <laughs> All right, so tell me, are you just the best linebacker in the country, or are you the best player eligible for the draft this year? I wouldn't do it myself with any of those names. I just enjoy playing the game, and I, I just play it to the best of my ability. Now, given the fact that you're coming out of a 3-4 system your senior year, and obviously under John Fox, this team is switching to a 4-3, what confidence did they express in you for your ability to be able to contribute to this team? And do you have any concerns about that fact? You know, I never ever do it myself, um, you know, a 3-4 linebacker or a 4-3 linebacker. It didn't matter what scheme they put me in, and I expressed that with those guys that, um, you know, whatever position that they had me playing, I was going to, you know, play it to, to the best of my ability. All right. Now, let me ask you this. Of the outside linebackers that include James Harrison, Lamar Woodley, Demarcus Ware, Clay Matthews, how do you think your game, when you think of pro projections, compares to theirs? You know, I'm not as big as those guys, but I can certainly get the job done like those guys. All those guys have phonetical effort to the ball, and that's something that I can, 
can certainly do. And I want to play it relentlessly like Clay Matthews does. And um, I enjoy the way he plays. And, you know, I try to model my game after him. Okay. And is there any other linebacker outside of that that you model your game after? Um, I, yeah, I love the late Derek Thomas. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I love the way he played the game. I love, you know, his point of view on the game. I watched some of his interviews and I watched what he thought and what he, you know, the way he, you know, attacked the football game. And I saw the way, you know, he chased down the ball, the way he got sacks. You know, I, I really enjoy the way Derek Thomas played. And um, I'm going to try to, you know, steal a couple of moves from him, too. Let me ask you this. There is a scout by the name of Dave Razan, I'm sure you've heard of him, who's been very critical of you, saying that he sees a little bit of Vernon Golston in you from the sense that he doesn't think that your motor is always going. He questions your ability to chase down the quarterback, or he says that some of your sacks come unblocked. What do you think about that, and why would he say that? You know, everybody can get a copy of my game film. And, um, <laughs> you know, all the guys that watched my game film, that was, uh, you know, one negative, you know, comment. But, um, you know, I, all that stuff really doesn't affect me. I, I know what type of player I am. I know what I can do on the field. And um, all you got to do is turn the film and uh, get your own opinion about me. Well, given the fact that Vernon Golston was drafted sixth overall in the 2008 draft and then went 42 games without a sack after uh, before being released, actually, do you take that as an insult? Um, you know, Vernon Gustin, he's a great player. He was a great player in college. Um, you know, I, I don't know what happened in the NFL. Um, I, I really, I didn't, really didn't watch, you know, Vernon Gustin play. But, um, I can tell you that we, we're two totally different players from two totally different players. I mean, places. And, um, you know, and I, I'm going to be able to get the job now. I can tell you that. I can guarantee you that. With the second pick in the 2000. 11 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Von Miller, linebacker, Texas A&M. So it is Von You're Miller. talking about the guy with the first, the best first step in college football. Von Miller was drafted by the Denver Broncos with the second overall pick in the 2011 NFL Draft. He was the highest selected linebacker since LeVar Arrington went number two to the Washington Commanders in 2000. He also became the Aggies' highest draft pick since Quentin Coriat, who was selected second overall in 1992. Now the, the, the knock against him is he's only about 240. I've seen him play with leverage and toughness at the point, but fellas, he's going to have to learn to do that consistently because that's where teams are going to attack him in the run game. And if you talk about this guy, this guy knows how to get to the quarterback in college. He posted NCAA best 17 QB sacks in 09. Coach, and of course, first team All-American last year. This guy gets to the quarterback, and that's what Denver needs. And at the combine, he tested very, very well. One of the most athletic linebackers, a 4-5-3 in the 40. He jumped 37 inches in 10-6. This guy's an athlete. He shows quickness in the shuttle. And, boy, he comes with an attitude. This guy's a versatile guy. He, he's a world and there's no doubt that he will be a successful guy and make that team better. Bob Miller chose to wear number 58 to honor the late Derek Thomas. And on September 12, 2011, in his first career play from scrimmage, Miller forced a fumble against the Oakland Raiders. Broncos punt. Jason Campbell to Jacoby Ford, but he lost the football. Von Miller gets in there. Raheem Moore gets the recovery at the Raider 15-yard line. Put a hat on the football. And that's good drafting by the Denver Broncos. On September 18, 2011, he had his first sack on Andy Dalton when the Broncos played the Cincinnati Bengals. Von Miller's got a sack back inside the Denver 10-yard line. There's the first sack of his career for the first-round choice out of Texas A&M. After a rookie campaign that saw the Texas native post 11 and a half sacks, 64 tackles, 19 tackles for loss, and two forced fumbles, Von Miller won the AFC Defensive Rookie of the Year award. Out of his hands by Von Miller. Second and nine. Well, they come after Rodgers and they sack him. Now from the Denver 48. And there's a sack. Great headers the backfield. Rivers in a crowd and nowhere to go. In their last three ball games. Second down and ten. Here's a big time hit and brought down on the play, Von Miller. Over the pressure and goes down. For Kansas City, open possession. 
Castle under pressure and he's sacked. Under pressure and down he goes. In motion toward the ball and back away from it. And Sanchez is going to get swallowed up in the backfield of the 20 yard line. Sanchez, down he goes. And it's Von Miller again. And this is going to turn over the fourth and second and five. Rivers. Von Miller with a great spin. In Von's second season with the Broncos, he recorded 10 sacks in nine games. He finished the season third with 18 and a half. Miller would get selected to a second Pro Bowl and was a first team all pro selection. Von's 18 and a half sacks was also a single season Broncos franchise record, surpassing Elvis Dumerville's number of 17. Six minute pressure off the edge, Von Miller's got him and down he goes and the ball is free. In 2013, ESPN reported that Miller had been suspended for four games for violating league policy pending appeal. In August 2013, he lost the appeal and was suspended for six games. CBI's calling said that they were getting a background check hit on a subject with a warrant. When Von Miller walked into this Centennial gun store Sunday, last Miller, first of Vonnie, he probably didn't remember the traffic ticket he got last October. Careless driving, no license, no proof of insurance. But CBI runs a background check on every gun buyer, and Miller had an outstanding warrant. Failure to appear in court for that traffic ticket. Records show his mom, Gloria, had to post the $1,000 bond. Von's gotten a couple wake-up calls here. Denver Post Spartans sports writer Mike Kliss you know, says the traffic ticket, not a big deal. Missing court, a bigger deal. But the reason it's newsworthy is the four-game suspension for drug testing failures that Miller is trying to appeal, making his case in a recent interview. I've made mistakes, but you know, the guy who I was yesterday is not the guy who I am today. At the time, the 24-year-old linebacker didn't know last year's traffic ticket would land him in trouble once again. I do think it may hurt his ability to win an appeal if Vaughn Miller is saying, you know, look, I'm responsible for my actions and I'm accountable for my actions, you know, the NFL could say, well, how responsible are you? Welcome to sports. Finally, it came down. Von Miller suspended for six games for multiple violations of the NFL's substance abuse policy. Good. It's over. Broncos can now move on. Von was in practice today. Suspension starts August 30th. He can return October 14th and play against the Colts. Now, during the suspension, he can work out at Broncos camp, go to team meetings, but no practice or games. John Fox, John Elway, talked late this afternoon about life without Von for now. I'm happy to be back. I'm, I'm definitely happy to be back. I've been here with these guys every single day, and um, I, I, I miss them, you know, and it's, it's hard to explain, you know, but um, I definitely miss these guys. I'm excited for the opportunity. I'm, I'm excited to get back on there and field. I'm excited just to go to practice, so, you know, I'm excited about this whole thing and excited about Indy coming up. Devon, I know you don't like to answer questions like this or who would, but I, I got to ask you, if you knew that if you got caught, it could potentially hurt the Broncos in a year where it's Super Bowl or bust, why honestly would you risk do something that could risk it. Oh, I, you know, I, I definitely made mistakes in the past. I, you know, it won't do anybody any good to go back and defend that stuff. You know, I'm, I've already served my suspension. I'm working hard to uh, gain everybody's trust back. I'm just going to continue to take it one day at a time. All I can ask is that everybody judge me on my actions going forward, and um, and I can gain everybody's trust back that way. Well, did you talk to the guys today, or did, you know, I know you've been around. So. I've already. I've already addressed everybody, you know, in the organization, everybody that's close to me except the media. So, you know, my teammates, they've been supportive this whole time. The Broncos organization has been supportive this whole time, too, and I'm, I'm happy to be back. Um, what did you learn about yourself, about your teammates, about the business of the NFL over these last six weeks? I mean, I learned a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I learned you got to slow down. <laughs> I learned that uh, traffic tickets and pro procrastination can, you know, lead to some bigger things. and. You know, but I, I've had a lot of time to stay by myself, and, um, you know, I've uh, learned about nutrition. I've got my body in excellent shape. You know, it's probably the best shape I've ever been in. Um, I've learned that uh, how my mistakes can affect others. And, you know, I, all I can do is just take it one day at a time and try to be the best person and the best football player I could possibly be. He became eligible to play on October 20th, 2013, when the Broncos played the Indianapolis Colts. Vaughn played in nine games before his season was ended prematurely with a torn ACL against the Houston Texans. Let's go back to the Vaughn Miller injury. Yeah, here he is right here. And watch the block here by Ryan Griffin. 
we do not see Vaughn Miller on the sidelines. He may have gone to the locker room for further treatment. Without Miller, the Broncos reached the Super Bowl, but lost 43-8 to to the Seattle Seahawks. Center snaps the football. No Sean Marino hops on it 12 seconds into the game. And it's it to 12 men already had an effect. The 12 Sorry, men, 12 out. seconds into the game leads to two points. Right off the bat, the quickest score in the history pretty good, of the right? Super Bowl. Miller vowed to return even better than before, and that he did. In the 2014 campaign, Miller finished with 14 sacks, 59 tackles, and a forced fumble, earning his third Pro Bowl. On September 17, 2015, Miller became the third fastest player in NFL history to reach 50 career sacks. He did so in 58 games. The only ones to reach the mark faster were Reggie White and Derek Thomas with 40 and 54 games respectively. Overall in the 2015 season, Miller finished with 11 sacks, 35 total tackles, 32 quarterback hits, one pass defended, and four forced fumbles, earning his fourth Pro Bowl and his second All-Pro honors. He practiced a lot on Friday. He tells me you're part of the game plan. Third straight throw here for the Broncos, and it is caught for a first down. Emmanuel Sanders climbing the ladder for a gain of 11. Timing was good. It's soft coverage at the top. Look how far Malcolm Butler is off Emmanuel Sanders. And the one thing we saw last week early in the game, Peyton Manning can read that easily, quickly, got his body underneath him, made a good throw. The Broncos would make it to the AFC Championship game against the New England Patriots. Miller sacked Tom Brady two and a half times, breaking a Broncos single game playoff record, while also intercepting a pass in the second quarter in an eventual 20 to 18 victory. It's a second and 10 from the pocket. It's picked off and it's Miller with the interception. Trying to throw a soft touch pass. And he just held up on it. Watch Gronkowski go out here. Watch Miller drop off in coverage and get underneath it. Really, that was so good by Von Miller. It fooled Tom Brady. He reversed field, looked inside, turned out, and made the interception. So Von Miller kind of goes quiet here and there. But big moments, last couple games we've seen, He's the difference maker when you need him. Back in the locker. Oh, is that a pick? Oh, that is a pick. Oh, oh, ooh, wee. Man, this ball feels a little flat to me, man. Von Miller just so fast that they don't have the answer. In Super Bowl 50, the Broncos faced the heavily favored Carolina Panthers. In the first quarter on a third and 10 from the 15 yard line, Miller sacked Panthers quarterback Cam Newton, knocking the ball from his hand. Defensive end Malik Jackson recovered the ball in the end zone for a Broncos touchdown, giving the team a 10 0 lead. Recovery. A meeting here of the first and second. Picks of the 2011 draft. Newton first, Miller second. Here comes the pressure. Nowhere to go. And Newton's down at the 22. Wolf and Miller both get to the quarterback. And finally, with 4.15 remaining in regulation and the Broncos leading 16 to 10, Miller forced a second fumble from Newton to end the Panthers' potential game-winning drive. The Broncos' offense would go on to score a touchdown to seal the victory. But it was Miller's six tackles, two and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, and two quarterback hurries that had him named Super Bowl MVP. And the MVP of Super Bowl 50 is Vaughn Miller. Vaughn, this was the fascinating matchup with you and Cam, the first two draft picks back in 2011. And all night long, this Denver defense was on him, making life very difficult. How about this run by this Denver defense all season, in particular tonight against the highest scoring team in the league? I'm so proud of my guys. It's, it's been every last one of the guys in the locker room that has got me to this moment right here. Could have gave up on me, 
but he kept pushing and kept being the type of guys that they aren't like him. I'm very, very appreciative of him. Happy for Clady, happy for Ryan, happy for the old line. I'm happy for Bronco Nation. We're going to celebrate this one all summer. Congratulations, Vaughn. What a couple of games you put together here in the last two weeks, too. Vaughn Miller, the MVP. Howdy, how's it going? Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks for being here. How are you feeling? To, I mean, I, I, you must be feeling sore. <laughs> <laughs> I, a little bit sore. I, I'm not too bad, though. The victory fuel is, is still running deep in my veins right now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm sure, because a lot of people did not expect you to win. So when, when you're hearing and feeling that, does that fuel you to prove them wrong, or how does that feel? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know... You were the only one that, we, that, that we picked predict, us. Yes, we predicted it correctly. <laughs> and I, pre I, I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate We knew, that. and I love Cam, and uh, he's done a lot of good things for us and uh, with uh, some people that we work with. And um, But but you, uh, boy, you really tore him apart that day. I, I mean, I mean that's first, my job. That's, that's, that's my job to make sure the other guy has a horrible day. So. Yeah, he's um, <laughs> he really had a horrible day. He's, what, 6'5 or something, right? You're about 6'6". Six, six, 290, yeah. somewhere what, like How that. tall are you? 6'3". Okay, so when you see him and you're going to, uh, look at that. You have him in the air. Like, I mean, <laughs> so how does, first of all, you've got to be so sore today. You've, I mean, <laughs> is there anything like while he's on the door and going, when, you know, when you, before you leave him going, sorry, do you, do you apologize? <laughs> no, I, no I, I did say sorry, but as the game went on, you know, I, I saw, you know, there their attitude and their temper started to flow. I just ask them, why are you acting like that? That's, yeah. Why are you guys acting like that? Yeah. But I already knew what it was. Well, yeah, you know why they were acting like that. <laughs> <laughs> so did you go, did you go celebrate afterwards with Peyton? Because Peyton said he was going to drink lots of beer. Did you do that? <laughs> yeah, I would have done it, but it was, it was, uh, it was so crazy. I, that was the last time I saw Peyton. And um, I really just celebrated with my mom. She, she's been there for me since. <laughs> My mom, she's been to every single football game, um, flag football game, not only football games, but track meets, assemblies, um, everything that I've ever been involved in, she's been there. So it was a special moment to celebrate my mom with the confetti dropping it and to have that moment with her. And to, to know that her son is MVP. I mean, congratulations to that. Congratulations. <laughs> she's got to be so proud of you. Yeah, I like to think she is. Yeah. She still gives me a hard time every day, though. Yeah, well, that's what she should do. That's um, what, she, that's so what now, her job is. You said last time that was the last time you saw Peyton. Is he already in retirement? Did he go to some <laughs> island? or What's happening? No, I think... Uh, Will he, had, he retire? I think he had to rush out to do a life alert mm -hmm. um, commercial. <laughs> so, you know, but um, I don't think he's going to retire, though. Uh -huh. I don't think he's going to retire. He still, he still has... Um, the physical ability and the mental ability to go yeah. out there and be great. So I, yeah. I still think he has a little bit left in him. Yeah. Now, you're a free agent, so uh, will you sh shop around, or do you want to stay with the Broncos? I mean, I want to stay with the Broncos for 15 to 20 years, but, you know, money talks, right? They got to pay you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you deserve it, and uh, you deserve whatever you're asking for. You're, you're certainly uh, proving yourself very, very important to that team. So congratulations. I know you have a foundation uh, that you work with, a charity that you work with, and we love uh, how you're helping low-income kids in Denver get proper eye care. So our friends at Shutterfly want to help, and they're going to give Vaughn's Vision Foundation a check for $10,000. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Just start me. When I'm on your magazine, rushing the passer and tackling dudes are some strings of mine. Build your gang strategy around me, cause my rating is 99. Feel the slot for LB by just calling on me, and we both can chime. Cause I just need one more shot to be MVP Yeah, we can win so I'm saying start me Let's do this Stop all plays just using my body Change your roster up and just start me Opponents never gonna make first downs Try and try the won't gain no ground Just start me 
so dry. Product placement in my dream? They've gone too far. But maybe I haven't gone far enough. You made that? Yeah! Miller would play nine and a half seasons with the Denver Broncos. He was selected to the NFL Pro Bowl eight of those seasons, earning the Associated Press All-Pro honors three times in the process. Miller racked up 490 tackles, 142 tackles for loss, and a Broncos franchise record of 110 and a half sacks in that span, with no signs of slowing up. say that it's a new season and this and that. He says, I still feel like it's all part of the same. Patriots going no huddle on second down and three from the 40-yard line. And a fumble to the outside that goes and it's picked up by Vaughn Miller. Miller into New England territory with a convoy. Gronkowski tries to chase him down. He gets blocked out of the play and Denver has a touchdown. To Foxborough, about 35 miles to the south, where it's second down and 10. Dickerson walked off under his own power. Brady with the empty backfield. They close on Brady, and the ball is loose, and it's picked up by the Broncos' Terrence Knight, who takes it to the 10-yard line. Vaughn Miller, who ran the fumble by Ridley back for a touchdown, was able to strip sack it. Because of the high hit to me, and there was, like you said, for a helmet contact. Hey, Vaughn Miller, make another play, why don't you? Another takeaway for this Denver defense in 58 is right in the middle. This time he gets over on Andre Smith. He's working over Humphreys earlier in the game. And he gets on Smith's side. Tampa trying to stick around in this one. Down 11. Freeman looking for Vincent uh -oh. Jackson. But Vaughn Miller, he doesn't just crush quarterbacks. Yes, he's been great sacking quarterbacks. They do drop him up in coverage. Car. Because he's going to get sacked. Hello, 58. <laughs> and the Panthers have a third and 10. Here comes pressure, and they've gotten to him. The ball is out in the end zone, and it's recovered by Malik Jackson for the touchdown. On November 1st, halfway through the 2021 season, Von Miller was traded to the Los Angeles Rams in exchange for a second and third round pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. So much love for. You know, my, my colleagues at, at, the, at the stadium and at the practice facility, you know, I love all my coaches that have coached me throughout all of these years and, you know, all the, all the team, all the teammates that I've had and, you know, the equipment guys and the field guys and the, and the chefs and, um, you know, Arch, you know, helping out in the cafeteria, um, the janitors, everybody. I've built relationships with all of these guys and, you know, it's a, it's a tough day, you know, for me. Um, you know, I, I didn't see it, you know, coming is just, uh, you know, one of those things that you just kind of walk into. Um, you know, I got a lot of respect for, for George Payton and John Elway. And you know, we just kind of sat down and talked and, <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's, it's for the best interest for, you know, me and, you know, the team as well. You know, I, I still feel like, you know, this team can go in. I still feel like this team has a lot of great players, um, a lot of great coaches on this coaching staff. Um, but ultimately, it was uh, the decision for, 
you know, what was in the best interest for everybody for me to go to the Rams. Miller made his Rams debut in week 10 and tallied three tackles in a 31 to 10 loss to the San Francisco 49ers. Slow developing play. In week 15, in a 20 to 10 win, Miller notched his first sack as a Ram against the Seattle Seahawks' Russell Wilson. It's Von Miller! The complete 2021 season saw Miller record 50 tackles, nine and a half sacks, and one pass defended, adding one forced fumble in 15 games. the Rams make it to Super Bowl 56 against the Cincinnati Bengals, where he recorded two sacks in a game that the Rams would beat the Bengals 23-20. His multi-sack performance makes him only the second player to ever have multiple sacks in more than one Super Bowl. He also tied Charles Haley's record for most Super Bowl sacks with four and a half, despite playing three fewer games than Haley. Rams rush five. Pocket crumbling. Burrow will have to eat it again. Sacked inside his 30. Von Miller arrives. Von Miller became a free agent after the 2021 season, and his services were still sought after from a few teams, including the Buffalo Bills and L.A. Rams. Miller would end up signing with the Buffalo Bills in what he called the hardest decision of his life. Yo, man. I just landed. That's it. Your mind cleared? You ready to, ready to talk again? Yeah, anything changed? What's new? Yes. Uh, hold on, I got Dad and Joey on the phone. Damn, Daddy, I've been, call, I've been trying to call you, man. Where you been at, man? Trying to make, important, trying to make important decisions, man. You on the plane and shit. Who schedules a flight on the day of free agency? Daddy. Buffalo. That's it. That's all you got to say. <laughs> what is AD? We playing with AD, Daddy. Yeah, but when it comes to sacks and shit. You got a quarterback that may be the best in the league and the offense that is the highest scoring in the league. And a defense that's the number one defense in the league. Um, the only thing they're missing is you. Is you. And they've been trying to do this for two years. This is a chance for you to do something that no other player in the history of the NFL has done. Take your heart out of this one, son. So, what would the deal say when it come across Sigurd? The deal with Buffalo would be the well, six years, $120 million over six years. That's $20 million a year. That's what it would say. And it would say that 50. Two is guaranteed. A little over 51 million guaranteed. 
You walk into a team that is all out of sight. Right. I, I think I think I know what I want to do. Just just give me time to get to the crib. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna call nobody. I'll tell you. Okay. All right. I know what to do, man. This Rams and Buffalo shit, man. This shit. It's crazy, my boy. New York, play with a young team. Josh Allen. Diggs. You know, all these boys. If I go to LA, it's me and AD, man. Y'all know how I love AD, AD man. It's the wild time, bro. Hard decision. I got to make it. I'm going to get it done, though. In our newsroom, Von Miller is 32 years old. Ian Rappaport, he turns 33 in 12 days. No, nope, 10 days. He just got how much money to go to Buffalo over how many years? Von Miller is getting a six-year deal for $120 million from the Buffalo Bills, which is a lot. That is a massive yeah. deal. However... It is backloaded, so the most important part of this deal that Von Miller is getting with the Buffalo Bills is that it is worth $17.5 million average per year over the first four years. That is essentially what Chandler Jones got uh, with the Las Vegas Raiders. That said, massive, massive signing for Buffalo. Remember a couple years ago when people would talk about how free agents didn't want to come to Buffalo? Long, long, long gone. Von Miller chooses the Buffalo Bills over the Super Bowl champion, Los Angeles Rams. Um, I saw the way he did it every single day. Um, I saw what makes Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, and it was uh, it was hard to walk away from that. And the only way you can walk away from that is uh, to walk into something special. And you know what um, what they're doing here is is, is extremely special. Um, they're they're going to win a Super Bowl with or without me. You know they've they've built an amazing team. You know um, Josh Allen and. You know, Diggs on the offensive side and this offensive line that they've built, Dawkins. You know, I've been a huge fan of, of uh, the way he plays for a long time. Um, to this defense, you know, number one defense in the league from, uh, you know, the safeties, Poirier and Micah and, um, you know, Ed Oliver up front. And now we got, you know, Jordan Phillips and, and Settle. And, you know, we're, um, they made a, a number, one tef- number one defense even better. And I got a lot of respect for these linebackers as well. Um, Matt Milano and, and, uh, and Tremaine. So, you know, I've been a big fan of the Bills for a long time. You know, I thought I was going to be a, a Buffalo Bill when I first got drafted. Um, Denver came, you know, out of nowhere. Um, the day before the draft, and you know, I got wind that I was going to be a Denver Bronco. But that whole off season, I thought I was going to be a Buffalo Bill. I had already bought into the Buffalo Bills. I had Buffalo Bills gear. Um, I knew about the Bills Mafia. You know, I knew how uh, I knew how much this team meant to um, this uh, this community. And um, I was I was okay with it back then, and uh, I'm definitely okay with it now. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to go win. I'm excited to go win a Super Bowl. Um, in this city, I'm excited to see Bills Mafia go crazy. I'm excited for all the things that this uh, that this special place uh, brings, and you know they were already going to be good without me. They're already going to win the Super Bowl without me, and it's an honor and a privilege to be a part of it. Von Miller currently sits 22nd all time in sacks, 11 away from tying Derek Thomas, and 85 away from the record held by the Bills great Bruce Smith. The, the record in sacks with 200 sacks, you know, he sets the standard. How's it going? Uh, good, man. Appreciate the love. Bro. Appreciate you. Hey, there's a baller right here. <laughs> this movie is rated R. Adult language and violence. Lots of it. Here comes the moves. Spinning on the way to the quarterback. I'm Vaughn Miller. Um, I'm sitting here with Bruce Smith. You know, they asked me the hundredth year of the NFL, who'd you want to sit down and watch film with? He's the best that ever done it. All-time sacks over a career with 200 sacks, and you know, I aspire to do some of the same stuff. So it's dope to just uh, you know sit down and and have a, a one-on-one time with me and you. It's pretty cool. Chop it up, yes, sir. The scoop on this play. Yeah, yeah, man. First, I, yeah. first sack That's ever. My right? First sack ever. That's Bruce Smith, the first player that was a memorable one, but guy tries to cut you, and I've seen some of your clips where guys have tried to cut you, and you're able to keep your balance, sidestepping, and make your way towards the quarterback. Yeah, this, this was crazy right here. Look how, look how low you are. Right balance. 
Yeah, that's what it is. About 285 pounds. Yeah, I was 285 that, that year. That's crazy. And the get off. Yeah. We talk so much about the get off. That's the most important thing when you're rushing the quarterback. We got all of these uh, techniques on how right. to get to the quarterback, but sometimes you just gotta go. You, sometimes you, you gotta, gotta get gotta off keep, the ball. You gotta be relentless and sacks to come. Yeah. Now this is dope. And down he goes, Von Miller. Say hello from the rookie. What was your mindset when you was going through this rush? Um, I wanted to get a great get off, and um, this is before they start chipping me. So right, I, I was, right. I was just fearless back then. I, I didn't even see this guy right here, this tight end. But I, I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about like chips or, you know, sliding the line or right. double teams back then. This is my, this is my rookie season. Well, for me, watching this play, great get off, leverage, and then you disengage by knocking him back off his, off of his heels and putting him on his butt. You can't really teach this move. This is not uh, Because it starts with speed. I don't know of any other linebacker that's had your kind of speed coming up off the line of scrimmage. Vaughn Miller just oh. ran over the right tackle. Wow. Von Miller not only has a chance to accomplish a feat no other NFL player has done by winning a Super Bowl on three different teams, but it would also be the first for the Bills faithful a fan base that has endured a championship escaped their hands not once or twice, but four straight times. So if by some odds the stars align and the football gods shed their light on the Bills to win a Super Bowl, I'm almost positive Von Miller would be on that team.